Welcome to this installment of Sugar CRM Tutorials for AtCore Systems. Today, we will focus on creating basic reports and viewing them within Sugar CRM. Let's get started. First, head to your Sugar CRM installation and log in. Once you have logged in, locate the Reports Navigation link at the top of the page. Hover your cursor over to see the available options. First, we will focus on creating a report, so go ahead and click that. You will now see a few different options on the page, each with its own explanation as to what it does. Let's do a rows and columns report. Click on the rows and columns reports image. After clicking the link, you will see a list of every module available for creating a report. After watching this video, feel free to explore each module's capabilities and report generation. For now, let's go with contacts. We are going to generate a report based on all of the contacts that are assigned to a particular user. Click on contacts. On the next page, there is a lot of information. First, we're going to follow the guidelines set forth in the Steps to Define Filters box. By default, the fields listed in the bottom left box titled Field Names are pulled from the Contacts module. But you can use any module that relates to contacts for the filters. But you can use any module that relates to contacts for the filters. We will narrow down the related module a bit more. Select Assign to User from under Contacts. Scroll down the field name list and locate Full Name. Give it a single click and you will see a new box populate the Define Filters box. This box provides a breadcrumb trail to tell you the module that it pulled from as well as the name of the field. We'll go ahead and make sure that is is selected and also select a user from the list. We will also check the Runtime box. The Runtime setting allows you to alter the search criteria before running the report at a later date and is a very useful feature to save time. Locate Next at the top and click it. Since we have the basic selection of data down, we now need to select what data to display on the report. It would be a really large report if we could not do this. Let's keep it fairly basic for now. By default, Contact is selected from the Related Modules box. Go ahead and click it to make sure. Scroll down the field name list and select some fields to display. As you select each one, notice that they populate the Choose Display Columns box on the right. Also, same as before, you can really narrow down the columns to display and go outside the Contacts module. I would also prefer a particular sorting of the data pulled. To do so, just select the column that you wish to sort by. This could be alphabetical by the client's last name or by the employee with whom they are assigned. I think I'll go ahead and sort this by the client's name. Just click the empty box under Sort By next to the contact name and then select Descending from the drop-down box. As the columns are added to the right menu, keep in mind that they are displayed in this order on the report. So make sure that you are happy with this order. If not, then you can simply drag a column to the preferred spot and then click Next. Now we get to save the report for future use. Just enter a name for the report, whether you wish to show the query that you just created on the report, who it is assigned to, and the team who can view the report. After that, you can either preview the report without saving it, or save the report and run it. We'll go ahead and select Save and Run. Next up, you will see your freshly created report in all of its glory. Let's go over the results again to make sure you are familiar with what is presented. If you are unhappy with your results or made a mistake, then just click Edit. Duplicate will give you the option to create a new report based on the report settings, or create a new one with summaries of the fields with or without details. You can also schedule the report to run at a certain date and time, export the data as a PDF or CSV file, or even delete it entirely. I think that we're pretty happy with this, so let's move on. Your report's details are listed in the next box just for your reference. You can hide or show them with this button. Next up is the actual data that you were searching for. You will see that it has been sorted by the date modified starting with the most recently changed contact. The data can be sorted by any of the fields by simply clicking on the up or down arrow next to the field name. Since this report has been saved, we can come back to it at any time or we can view another report just as easily. Go ahead and click on Reports in the top menu. You will see some search options at the top of the page. Of course, this is very helpful if you have a plethora of reports to sift through. We will just locate our most recent report and select that. Click on the latest report. After clicking, your report will be displayed just like it was before. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this tutorial on creating and viewing basic reports within Sugar CRM and are well on your way to becoming an expert user. Feel free to come back to these videos at any time that you need a refresher, or if you need any further assistance, then contact your Sugar CRM support staff. Thanks.